Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Cross Nation. And for today's video, we're going over the standard weekly update that I do every single Monday uh, of the week, where typically we go over all of the VIP deals uh, that's going on for this week, as well as any other random updates that happen to happen. So for today, we're gonna jump right into it. Starting off, we are continuing with the summer adventure uh, story quest that's kind of going on right now. Uh, day 11 and onwards is being added uh, with a new episode being introduced every single day. All the way up to the 17th of this week, I believe. And now, was there, whether or not like the story is going to continue afterwards, I'm not too sure. I want to say no, but uh, I guess we'll find out sooner or later. Uh, next up, we are having another Zero AP campaign. For this week, which honestly I don't like at all, uh, and when I say that, let me clarify real quick. I I like zero AP campaigns in general. I just don't like them during competitive raid weeks. Okay, in my opinion, zero AP campaigns during competitive raid weeks are absolutely horrendous. Now there's a lot more I could easily spend talking about this topic, but I don't want to spend too much time talking about this one topic. So we're going to move on for now. But at the very least, I don't like the fact that we have zero AK AP campaign for this rating week. I don't like it when they when I've done it in the past either. But other than that, we are having another seven star uh, campaign banner for this week. It is five draws. It's five pull mercy pull. Um, this time you can, you can get a seven star final boss Shion from the banner as well as the fact you're also guaranteed a tier five or higher seven star medal every single pull uh, from this banner. And you are included a list of different uh, really good skills within each bullet pull as well, such as uh, attack boost six max, defense boost one max, two max, three max, attack boost five max, engage one, five max, and lux plus, and triple threat two. Okay, it's kind of standard amongst the seven star deals as of right now. Now, whether or not I feel like final boss Shion is worth pulling for, not really, no, not at all. Uh, granted, it is a good metal, it's not bad, it's just not that great to go chasing for, okay? To be honest, for literally for any player, it doesn't matter if you're a beginner, intermediate, or veteran, uh, the prime metals are just straight up better and then final boss Shion, okay? Tr to be honest, there's literally only a handful, like literally a handful of medals within the tier sixes that are actually worth getting seven star. And those are gonna be the high, like the super hard hitting damage medals. But like quite literally, there's, there's not very many tier six medals that you actually want seven star. You could almost say, aside from prime medals, you could practically skip the tier six section for the most part and go straight to tier seven. That's what I think about this banner. It's not it's not really anything to go chasing. All right, next up, we are going to be covering the actual VIP deal this week as well. Um, and this time is actually fairly interesting. And I remember I commented on their Twitter announcement, uh, announcing it as well last night. But essentially, just to go over it real quick, uh, for this week, we are getting, for those of you that get VIP this week, on Monday next week, you will be receiving a golden ticket uh, as a re you know reward for getting VIP, as well as the fact that they're also let me scroll down a bit. Uh, we are also finally getting Kyrie EX as a VIP medal uh, for this week. It, it, it honestly highly aggravates me the fact that they're now finally releasing Kyrie EX. Uh, when it's kind of too late <laughs> now this is great for beginner uh, players okay if you if you don't have this medal yet and you don't have a Kyrie Shion EX plus either um, and you're okay with spending money on the VIP then I, I definitely think it's very much worth pull, getting the VIP just simply for the Kyrie EX itself it literally is like the base meta like buff main buffer debuffer metal within the game that like you have to have at this point uh, pretty much. You don't have to have a Kairi EX Plus as long as you have a Kairi EX. But of course, a Kairi EX Plus will would be better and be nice to have. In terms of the rest of the VIP deal, we are getting a return of the Incredibles 2 VIP medals again, along with 1,400 extra jewels. Uh, same thing as usual. 
we are getting the return of the daily Chip and Dale quest, which I feel like, and I've seen, I've seen mention this uh, of this online as well. Uh, I do believe they should start replace, replacing these with farmable Chips and Dales at this point, because at this point I feel like it's 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 getting really difficult to actually have any decent amount of chips and dales coming out at this point especially with how often prime metals are popping out who now consume like a ton of chips and dales like quite literally i can run out of chips and dales on just one or two metals like in just one setting <laughs> it's it's getting a little too difficult to actually get chips and dales so i would like to see these starting to get replaced with farmable chips and dales instead and of course we are also finally for vip getting the limited premium like uh quest as well this right here is absolutely fantastic if you're running low on any sort of exp metal such as huey d louis um or you're running low on the uh, Mickey medals as well, you know, to evolve to Fantasia Mickey Bees with your brooms and such. This is literally one of the best quests in the entire game to just quickly get all of that, as well as the fact that it also completely levels up all your skills. Uh, it's literally the, one of the best, like, evolution material quests in the entire game. Um, as well as the fact we're also getting the Seven Magic Broom deal, the Gem deal, and the Magic Mirror deal, just like usual. In terms of Union Cross, we are getting a new Union Cross this week as well. This time for the avatar parts that we can get. It's going to be the Mickey Mask and the Minnie Mask, which your pet can wear on their head. It's pretty much the same thing as usual though. Like the, there's nothing really different about this Union Cross. Last but not least, we are having a return of the competitive raid week for this week as well. This time we're doing fighting this like gummy hound guy where you can also get a tote bag avatar part and in terms of what it does uh let's scroll down real quick where is it there it is it gives you a raid boss omega perk of plus five which i mean we have so many of these at this point in the game where it's, it's just kind of like eh, it's just more for accessory looks at this point unless you're a new player of course and it's just like you might as well go and try and get it but uh, you are able to get a Fantasia Mickey B medal uh, as part of the rewards for doing the Gummy Hound. And as far as I'm concerned from what I've heard, I haven't checked yet, but I don't think there's actually any uh, 10k coin drop this time as part of the rewards. Like like if you're if you beat the like level 90 raid boss or anything like that. I don't think that we have it for this week this time, which I find very odd because it's going to be... Unless, you, unless you're actually grinding a lot this week, it's going to be kind of hard to get that Fantasia Mickey B. In terms of what are the actual rewards for the competitive raid week for this week, though, uh, we are getting the Struggle Champion Belt, which is what these guys are wearing right here for this week, and which is also going to get us the Critical Hit Perk plus 5, okay? Now, what I got to say right here is that Critical Hit is got to be the most underrated perk within the entire game. It's very good, but because of the fact that we just simply don't have enough critical hit perks within the game, it's kind of hard to actually utilize them. Now, in case you don't know what a critical hit does, it basically lets you do extra damage when when uh, using your medals and such, okay? Your, your medals will have a chance of doing uh, a critical hit to do extra damage. Now, and this is good for a variety of reasons, not just because the fact it does damage. It means that if you use it for like raiding, for example, it gives you more chances to actually obtain more lux because more damage equals more lux, okay? As well as the fact it also helps for PvP uh, because more damage equals more points, okay? Uh, so overall, like, like I, I hope you guys can see where I'm kind of going with this. Critical hit perks are very good. Um, it's just a matter of the fact of getting more of them and we're just recently starting to see more and more of them And this is actually going to be the first like uh, Body critical hit perk that we're gonna be getting this time as well, which is going to be nice So if you're able to try and get this I would definitely try and get this as, as like as much as possible But other than that, that's it for today guys. Let me know what your thoughts are about this week's uh, VIP deal and such I would love to hear your thoughts about it in the comment section down below But other than that if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button It's the best way to know when I upload more videos such as this one My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video Peace